Hello everyone, N4KRO here. <clears throat> Wanted to do a video today on the Elacraft QRP, the KX3 rig, the QRP rig. It's, it's um, uh, HF all bands and two meter. So this is the rig that we will be looking at today. And uh, we'll be doing some work on 75 meters. And uh, just to give you an idea of working 5 watts and uh, up to 15, depending on power connection. So uh, looking forward to uh, spending a few minutes with you on a look at the KX3 Elecraft. All right, I want to illust uh, illustrate uh, some, do some QRP work here. And I've got the Elecraft QRP rig. This is the KX3. A beautiful radio, one of my favorites actually. And it, I got this case from their website. Beautiful case, fits everything. A uh, couple things about the radio. I, uh, I've done a couple of ads since it's a kit radio or can be purchased as a kit. Uh, there's a lot of flexibility with this rig and it's wildly popular. Um, the, um, the rig itself is 1 to 15 watts and um, it's got noise reduction in it, it's got an antenna tuner in it, um, and it has a battery charger and battery pack in here that Nike heads or nickel metal hydride uh, batteries that are chargeable. You can see we're running portable right now with, with no cable connected to it. I added a transverter for two meters, and I'll illustrate the two meter connection. And then it's got HF. It's it's uh, uh, 10 through 160, and uh, so it does the full gamut, does everything I need it to do. It has a key input here. Since I'm not a coder, I don't use... Uh, Morse code, but it has a Morse code decoder, so I can listen to Morse code and watch the text on the screen scroll as it's decoding Morse code. It also do, does uh, digital modes, and uh, so it's capable of digital modes as well. It has the uh, accessory connections. It has a headphone jack and uh, transmit and receive and uh, I/O connection so it's got lots of uh, expandability and capability. A lot of the guys that use the rig in a little bit higher power will put a, a uh, an additional heat sink across the top here and that's an option that's available because the uh, finals are mounted right here on the rig so that helps dissipate some of the heat but I don't run that much power. 5 watts is about all I do. Um, I may have to go out a little higher than that today in order to get out the bands are not in very good shape. So we'll just see how things go with the Elecraft. Um, let me pull a few things out here. Microphone, uh, we'll hook up to power here, and I think that'll do it. I've got, an ex uh, I've got an AC power here too if I need it. Everything is set up with uh, power poles. So it's got the little feet here that pull out, and you set the rig up just like that. Um, I've got some 12 volt power right here and I have a power pole right up there but I'll just use this setup. Alright we're running at 14.1 volts and let's bump the power up here. Well, There we go. We'll run the power up about 15 watts to start and then we'll back down if we can make a contact. Uh, microphone. The microphone also works uh, with um, hands-free um, VOX. I'm sorry, just had a memory lapse there. All right, I've got an uh, external antenna here. This is a uh, a full-range dipole that's hung up, and I've got it tuned. And I'm going to show you how I've got the antenna tuned. I'm going to put it on my tuner right here. I mean, on my uh, analyzer. And let me see if I can bring this up closer to the camera. Um, right now, uh, it's showing 
3950. So let's let's I'm going to try 3902. Let's just see uh, if we can get it down here. Yeah, there's 3900. And if I come over to the tuner, I can adjust the frequency. You can see that. I'm just going to leave it right there at about 3900. That's close enough. And we'll uh, we'll soon. It does have a built-in tuner, but we'll bypass that today just to make sure that we're not conflicting with what's going on with my external tuner. Um, normally I like to use resonant antennas, but in this setting I just wanted you to see that, that we can tune this antenna to anything we want basically. And then we go from here right into the rig. Okay. And there is a Christian net of some kind on 3902 in the mornings and I will check and see if I can tune into them here in just a minute so um, it's getting late Okay, you can see it's got great audio, really. The speaker's right here, so you get a really good, um, turn the auto down here. Um, I've got the RF turned almost all the way off there, and I'm still pulling in a signal. But anyway, the audio is right here, and, and it's great. I've used headphones with it before, but most of the work that I do outdoors, it's plenty loud. I don't need to worry about it. Um, like I said, there's a lot of uh, functionality here for uh, um, it's got filters I've got a couple of filters installed so it will do the um, uh, receive filtering uh, on lots of different scales you can see the the different the different ranges that you have for fil filtering uh, let's just crank up and listen a little bit band is it's a little late for 75 meters okay so you, you could see it's got some pretty strong uh, front end uh, very popular for that reason uh, wonderful uh, uh, CW rig let me illustrate the uh, two meters now. I'm going to hook up the two meter antenna and I'll just see if I can hit my local repeater. Um, let's just see what happens here. We'll go to Fort. Oh, there we go. Uh, 820. I think. I've got the tone and everything set up correctly, so let's just see if it'll hit it. N4KRO. I don't know if anybody's out there, but we'll see if we can get somebody to come back. Radio test N4KRO. Pretty scratchy uh, to be inside at three watts. I'm really surprised I'm doing. It works great outdoors. I've used it when I'm doing HF work and I want to talk to the guys on the local repeater. So obviously we're hitting the repeater. That's not a problem. And I've got several repeaters uh, programmed in here, uh, and you can program uh, diff uh, different different frequencies and all of that. You can do scanning frequencies. Uh, so let's do a little bit of HF work. Let's try to get back up to 75 and 80 and see if we can get somebody on 75 and 80. I got 
this this uh, the Navy made her dipole. I had just pulled it up. And my son, uh, give me your name and location, Roger. Roger, the name here is Kent Kilo Echo November Tango. The location is just outside of Winston-Salem, North Carolina. Winston-Salem, North Carolina, QSL. Okay. Winston-Salem, North Carolina. Okay. Roger that. And your QTH is Tennessee, is that right? That's a Roger. I caught that. Uh, we are in Tennessee. We are in Tennessee. Stonehill, QSL. QSL, Stonehill. Uh, let me have your call one more time. Kilo Mike Tango, Hotel, Hotel. Roger. Roger, K-M-T-H-H, -H, Kilo Mike Tango, Hotel, Hotel. Got you. Thank you so much for coming back, and uh, I'll just do a little more testing on this running a uh, 200 feet uh, flat top uh, and uh, just testing it out for uh, 80, 75, and 80 meters uh, QSL. Uh, now, uh, there's QSB. You're up and down on me. Give me your call one more time. Okay, November 4, Kilo Romeo Oscar, is that a Roger? Roger, Roger. Are you good on QRZ? Yes, yeah, QRZ, I'll be there, QRZ. Thank you for your uh, signal report, and um, I'll, uh, uh, I'll catch you later. Thank you for coming back to me, KMTHH, this is N4KRO. I'll be clear on your final. Roger, uh, thank you, Richard. N4 Caro will be clear. Well, I hope you enjoyed the uh, KX3 QRP video. I really didn't want to just do a video on the radio. There's been so many of them done, but I just thought maybe you'd like to hear a little uh, QSO on the rig and just how I've got it set up. And again, I appreciate you watching my channel. I'm going to do another FT-818 video here shortly. Uh, probably out in the bamboo forest. Uh, the weather has been really nice. And I'll probably hook up a, uh, a wire antenna out there. Or maybe use my vertical, which is just right uh, 100 feet from the, maybe 50 feet from the bamboo forest. So keep watching. And... Uh, if you haven't subscribed, click subscribe and click the uh, the bell, and uh, uh, that way you'll get notification when we do the videos. So, got the uh, Tandy series that I'm working on, the series uh, Pocket Computers 1 through 8, so be on the lookout for those as well. And again, thank you for watching.